Zenobia is a strange, strange hero with a ton of little perks and nuances that a lot of people either don't understand or are completely oblivious to. She is capable of dealing damage and providing protection for her team, but she doesn't excel at either of them. She has numerous ways to ensure her own survival in a long skirmish, but can get melted down really quickly when focused. So it begs the question, how do we play Zenobia? Hello everyone, this is Wolfie, and this video is going to discuss Zenobia in her current state and her issues. Zenobia is a unique support in the fact that she is the only support who cannot provide any team healing. In fact, she cannot provide any buffs for her allies aside from a small damage buff on her left mouse button with a specific upgrade. Instead, her specialty lies in being able to cripple the enemy lines, providing the widest variety of debuffs of any hero in the entire game up to date, and being able to apply them in both single target and area of effect. Zenobia has access to Weakness, Armor Crack, Armor Break, Bleed, Slow, Cripple, Knockup, Launch, Poison, and Stasis. Zenobia even has access to Curse, which is something that is unique to her. Curse removes all current buffs on the enemy, including Stealth, and makes them unable to gain buffs for 2 seconds. Several of these debuffs can be applied at base ability and are often ignored by the casual player, which is why records show that Zenobia has one of the lowest win rates in the entire game at the moment. There are several impressions of what role Zenobia is supposed to fill, and I can tell you that she is not designed to perform those functions. I think the sooner people start to realize what Zenobia isn't supposed to do, they'll play smarter. So here are a couple assumptions of Zenobia and why they don't work. Number 1. Zenobia is not a tank. Everyone seems to have this idea that since Zenobia heals herself when dealing damage with her left mouse button, she has the sustain to be a frontliner. Well this is not the case considering the damage to health ratio is not equivalent. And even with full self healing upgrades on every ability, Zenobia just does not have the health pool or defensive capabilities to be a main tank. Not to mention that you're trading off upgrades that could be far more valuable to assisting your team, such as that damage buff or being able to apply armor crack to multiple enemies with Echo of Spite. A good Zenobia will know where to position to not be in the line of fire, making the self-sufficient upgrades next to worthless. Number 2. Zenobia is not an assassin or a flanker. Lacking any sort of mobility skills and having little to no burst damage, Zenobia cannot fill the role of a flanker or assassin in the same way that Taito or Wu can. A Zenobia that chooses to run past the enemy front lines to attack squishy damage dealers would most likely just end up taking the brunt of damage before she could do anything useful. She should also not be used as someone to wait in the sidelines to pick off fleeing fighters like an assassin does, as the utility from her spells in prolonged fights is far too valuable even at base. Number 3. Zenobia is not a duelist While it is true that Zenobia can be incredibly self-sufficient, her kit is not suited to be a hero who runs solo all the time. Any and all shooters can simply outrange her and melee heroes will beat her in a DPS race even with a full self-healing build. Even if she did gain the advantage in a solo fight, her abilities cost too much stamina and leave her with no potential to chase and finish the target. And again, her spells are far too valuable to not be used in a big team fight. So what do you do when you play Zenobia? Zenobia is best utilized staying in a healthy middle area between her frontline and her backline. This allows her to have the presence to follow up on engages with her Mark of Despair or Words of Spite, and be able to quickly turn back to assist her ranged damage dealers by weakening and knocking away enemy flankers with Wave of Sorrow. One of her biggest strengths is that Zenobia is one of the few heroes who is not reliant on her ability upgrades to perform well, much like Margrave in HK. However, I would personally say that Zenobia's greatest strength is the fact that she can be built in so many different ways. This places her in a great spot where she can work with and against most team compositions when played correctly. However, her greatest strength is ironically also her greatest weakness. Zenobia cannot perform well if the team does not work with her, meaning that her team must know what she is doing and when so that they can gain an advantage on the enemy team. Her kit has plenty of tools to deal with enemy death balls, but there's no way to stop the enemy death ball from demolishing her if she has no assistance. She is the source of the strongest anti-healing ability, however it's near worthless if the enemy team can simply walk out of it. It's very rare that Zenobia will be the primary source of engage since she has very limited range and can be turned on really easily, so she needs to have someone who's willing to stand between her and her targets. My best advice for Zenobia players is to stay with your team no matter what. Protect your damage dealers from the assassins and follow up with your tanks if you can, but keep your distance so that you're not in the line of fire. Do not try to force fights unless you are 100% sure your team is there to assist you, because if they aren't then you're gonna die really quickly and fall behind. 
know what the enemy team is capable of and adjust your build to deny them instead of building something that is comfortable to you, because Zenobia truly does have the power to cripple most team compositions. Be aware of your stamina usage and know when to leave the fight as your sprint is the only reliable means of pulling away from a bad situation. And above all else, remember that you are a support. You are not a damage dealer and you are not a tank. You are there to peel and protect your team. That will be the end of this video. Make sure you like the video if you enjoyed watching and also leave comments to start up some discussions. How have you had success with Zenobia? Where do you think she shines and where do you think she suffers? If you want a more in-depth guide for Zenobia, be sure to check out a video guide by Thilco Punch. Thank you for watching, have a good day, and I'll see you on the airship.